Hello there, my fellow arch heretics, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k lore. Today's video is one that I probably should have made a very long time ago. Alas, I kept moving between other topics, and this one eventually got left behind. The topic is Chaos Champions, and while you may find that sounding a bit generic after covering stuff like Chaos Lords and specific warbands, I never actually made an overview on what Chaos Champions actually are. So, here I am today. Maybe a bit late, but hopefully you folks will find this interesting regardless. And no, you cannot win the favor of Cinch by taking a shot each time I say Champion in this video. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? Chaos can be quite attractive, regardless whether you are rich, poor, healthy, or sick. It can be attractive for the simple reason that it offers great power to those willing to turn away from the light of the Emperor and dedicate themselves body and soul to the ruinous powers. For many walking this dark path, it offers the only hope of betterment in a galaxy ruled by an often oppressive human imperium where the opportunities for happiness or advancement are the prerogative of just a tiny minority. Because unlike the Imperium of Man and so many other servants of order in the galaxy, Chaos judges its servants on merit and skill alone, and rewards them for their success or failure, harshly but fairly. In fact, many of the people who serve the Dark Gods will claim that only Chaos offers the true justice to the people bound into the corrupt and dying realm ruled by the Corpse Emperor. The road to power begins by offering your body and soul to Chaos, either to an individual Chaos God or to Chaos Undivided. Not all who choose to dedicate themselves are accepted by the Dark Gods, however because they only want the elite of mortality in their service as a champion. Often, it takes a spectacular deed of courage to attract the attention of the Dark Gods. If the candidate is accepted by a Chaos God or by Chaos Undivided, then he or she will receive a Mark of Chaos from their patron. This can be the God's own Mark or the Mark of Chaos Undivided, and each of these offers supernatural abilities or physical characteristics. Once a champion receives their mark, they begin to attract followers from the lesser servants of Chaos. The gods use their champions to further their aims in the material realm. The life of a champion becomes an endless series of battles, raids, and quests to serve the interests of the ruinous powers. As the champion serves Chaos, they become increasingly altered, via so-called gifts granted by their patron. The road to power either ends in the champion being reduced to a mindless and formless chaos spawn due to multiple failures, or ascension to demonhood as an immortal and powerful demon prince as a great reward. All the chaos champions are mortal and can be killed, although this is a dangerous undertaking as they are almost always extremely powerful opponents. The followers of a chaos champion are known as a chaos warband, even followers of the same Chaos God are always rivals for their patrons' fickle favor. Sometimes shaky alliances are formed between warbands of extremely powerful champions. The truly successful champions of Chaos are ultimately rewarded with immortality, and they are given control of their own demon world in the warp. Although it can be sometimes difficult to tell them apart, there's many types of Chaos Champion. We have common champions, Exalted Champions, and Unique Chaos God Champions. From among the common champions, we have The Aspiring Champion. This is the most common type found among Chaos Warbands. The Aspiring Champion leads squads of Chaos Space Marines, including examples of the Chosen, the Raptors, or the Havoc squads, or Warbands of Human Heretics and Chaos Cultists and usually pledge their loyalty to a much more powerful Chaos Lord. Terminator Champions are aspiring champions who somehow have acquired a suit of tactical dreadnought armor, most often via killing the previous owner. They are the leaders of the rare Chaos Terminator squads. The Possessed Champion are the leaders of the Possessed, 
mortal psychers or heretic Astartes who have been possessed by a demon of Dematerium. After being possessed, they are horribly mutated by the demon's presence, beyond even the mutational gifts granted to their fellow Chaos devotees by the Runa's powers themselves. The Plague Champions serve as squad leaders of the Death Guard Traitor Plague Marines. A Plague Champion is often the most horribly diseased infested individual of the unit, as well as the toughest to defeat and the most dedicated to Nurgle. The Noise Champions are the leaders of the Emperor's Children Noise Marine squads. They commonly brandish rare sonic weapons unavailable to many other Chaos Space Marines. The Skull Champions are the leaders of the World Eater's Korn Berserker squads, and they are seen as the most bloodthirsty and most devoted to Korn in the unit, as well as the most skilled Berserker in the squad. Aspiring Sorcerers are apprentice sorcerers in training to become fully-fledged Chaos Sorcerers. They are the leaders of the Thousand Suns units and special devotees to the Lord of Change, Tsinge. Finally, we have the Biker Champions, who are the leaders of the Assault Bike Squadrons of the Chaos Space Marines. They are usually very bloodthirsty and obsessed with speed. The greatest of the Chaos Champions are called Chaos Lords, and these individuals are often aligned with one of the four Chaos Gods and become the mightiest champions of their chosen deity. Often, the status grants them a measure of power of their patron god, including mutation or greater resilience, enhanced strength or psychic abilities. Disease and death are the most potent forces in the galaxy, and the champion of Nurgle embodies all of them. These Chaos Lords are swollen and bloated, often little more than moving sacks of pus and infectious disease. Their bodies have been dulled to pain, and as such they can endure immense amount of punishment before they finally die. The most bloodthirsty and savage fighters in the galaxy, the champions of Korn lust after the spilling of blood and the roar of battle to satisfy the desires of the Blood God. They are experts in many weapon forms which others could never master, but they do not fight in a graceful manner, preferring to bludgeon their way through a large number of foes. Only the greatest of battles can sate their endless thirst for blood and death. Desire is a powerful emotion, and Slanesh is the embodiment of all desire, with his slash her champions reveling in their pleasures. They take a joy from the ending of life on the battlefield, a perverse pleasure for which the desire is constantly increased. The senses of the champion are increased beyond human recognition, and their minds react so fast that they fight in a blur which many enemies cannot even see, let alone defend against. Slaneshi champions are often the greatest of swordsmen in the galaxy. Very powerful psychers and chaos sorcerers make up the ranks of the mortal followers of Tsinge and his most potent sorcerers are his champions. The enhanced psychic powers that Sage grants his champions allows them to project warp powers which no loyal follower of the Emperor could ever dream of unleashing. They often wear charms and pendants to protect themselves from the demon powers of the warp, although the dangers are lessened because of their service to the Lord of Change. Often, these champions are simply pawns in the endless games of Sage. But, on the other hand, useful pawns are the best protected ones. For every Chaos Lord making their grisly mark upon the galaxy, there are hundreds of other Chaos Champions vying for the favor of the Ruinous Powers. Each one is an exceptional warrior. Whether they are known for their martial prowess or sheer animalistic brutality, an exalted champion inevitably leaves a trail of corpses in their wake. In seeking out and slaying the most vaunted of foes, exalted champions hope to draw the eyes of the Dark Gods. They do so with good reason though, or at least from the perspective of a power-hungry madman. Unlike so many deities given obeisance across the galaxy, who remain distant and unknowable, if they exist at all, the Gods of Chaos are real, and willing to reward or punish their supplicants on the whim of the moment. An exalted champion that proves a capable pawn in the great game will find themselves rewarded with abilities far beyond even those of the most accomplished mortal. 
warp given rewards usually appear first as blemishes or stigmata. And then as time passes, as protuberances or abilities that become even more pronounced over time. Their nature is sometimes suited to the recipient's personal agenda. A bloodthirsty butcher may become possessed of insane strength, whereas a leader of warriors might find his commands obeyed without question. Other times these gifts of the dark gods might be hideously disfiguring or even physically crippling. For what the ruinous powers consider a blessing is seen by regular mortals as the vilest curse. The champions that sprout extra limbs, razor sharp horns or extra eyes will still find a new way to turn their gifts to slaughter. Because the blessings a champion receives usually increase the carnage they are able to wreak, they increase the likelihood that they will be rewarded once again. And so the cycle continues. Should a warrior find himself with too many gifts, their much altered body and genome will reach a breaking point, mutating into a fleshy abomination that is doomed to spend the rest of its existence in agony and madness. Such is the razored edge walked by the champions of chaos. On one side lies eternal servitude, and on the other hideous devolution into a mindless chaos spawn. Champions are an effective leader in the times when their lord's efforts must be focused elsewhere, and it is common for them to be accompanied by a band of chaos cultist retainers and hangers-on or a space marine honor guard. More than that, however, an exalted champion is their master's executioner, seeking out the leaders of the enemy and matching themselves against them in single combat. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the various types and ranks of the Chaos Champions for today. Without a doubt some of these things you probably already knew, but I am also happy to have made a video overview on what these guys are all about. You can't go on confusing your possessed champion with your aspiring champion now, can you? What are your thoughts on all these representatives of the Dark Gods? Do you think becoming a Chaos Champion is a good career path? Would you become one yourself? Do share your thoughts on the matter in the comments below. If you found the episode informative or entertaining, please click the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching to the end and have a healthy awesome day. The blessings of the Dark Gods be upon you.